in this sixth and final part of the series, we begin where we left off in the last part with Schrodinger in Dublin. Having moved to Dublin, Ireland in 1939 to work at the soon to be complete Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies, Schrodinger began work on a unified field theory which combined Einstein's relativity with electromagnetism, writing his first paper on this in 1943. Schrodinger described his stay in Ireland as, quote, my long exile, but without the bitter associations of the word, as it was a wonderful time. I would never have got to know this remote and beautiful island otherwise. In 1944 he would break to a large extent from the quantum mechanics that had filled his life, and, recalling that Schrodinger made contributions to colour vision in his early academic career, returned to biology with the short book What is Life? In 1946, he renewed his correspondence with Einstein on unified field theories, believing to have made a major breakthrough in early 1947. However, it was illusionary, as the theory contained nothing of merit, according to Einstein, who immediately curtailed correspondence on the matter. Unified field theory was not the only topic of interest for Schrodinger in Ireland. Along with the aforementioned What is Life, he also wrote Nature and the Greeks in 1954, which summarised his learning about Greek science and philosophy. He also wrote technical physics books whilst in Ireland, published through Cambridge University Press. In the winter term of 1950, he returned to Austria as a visiting scholar at the University of Innsbruck, and in 1956 left Ireland to return to his native Austria, taking up a special position set up for him at the University of Vienna, where he had enrolled as a student 50 years earlier. In 1958 he wrote Mind and Matter, which explored neurology and cognitive science, and in 1961 his final book, Mein Welten Sitch, which translated to My View of the World, which outlined Schrodinger's own metaphysical outlook, was published. As early as May 1960, signs of dormant lung disease began to emerge, and Schrodinger was soon diagnosed with tuberculosis. On the 4th of January 1961, Schrodinger dies, aged 74, with his wife Annie by his side. He left a lasting legacy in physics, having produced one of the, if not the, most important equations of quantum mechanics. And whilst his later years were not as revelatory as his 1926 formulation, he still left an indelible mark upon science, and can easily be considered one of the great scientific minds of the 20th century. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. I'd like to thank everyone who's watched the series, liked, commented or favourited any parts, or shared any parts with other people. Seriously, a massive thank you to everyone who watched. Now this audio is pre-recorded, so mistakes may have been pointed out already, but please, if you do see any mistakes, please don't hesitate to point them out, as well as any improvements you can think of for future reference. Again, thank you for watching, guys and gals. You take care now.